back to another week on the Brush by Brandy YouTube channel. My name is Brandy and this week we're going to work on this piece that's behind me and this one actually was a freebie. So I got this from a customer who purchased another bedroom set from me and this was her old bedroom set and when she offered it, um, it's a beautiful uh, set of Drexel furniture. It's called uh, the Melee Collection which it has kind of a Malaysian design um, in this bamboo finish and it was actually in really good condition. I wanted to keep these finishes fairly simple and clean and classic because this is a clean and classic piece of furniture. Um, I also feel like it had kind of that um, uh, boho vibe with a lot of the texture with the bamboo and stuff. So what better color to use on it than a bamboo color? So that kind of inspired my whole um, finish or my whole theme for my finishes on this was inspired by the bamboo on this one. So I'm excited to take you through how I did the top. Um, I refinished the hardware, this finish on it, and there's even something inside on these. This is actually a dresser and a nightstand set. So I hope you guys enjoy this finish. It comes together really pretty and I think it sets the, uh, suits the set um, and it's going to go on for decades more of classic modern design. Here's where I started on this set. This is made by Drexel, which is actually a beautiful set of furniture and it's in remarkably good condition. So there wasn't a lot of repairs or anything that I needed to do. I started by taking off all the original hardware and giving this a scuff sanding using my surf prep sander. I'm scuffing this piece up just to take a little bit of the gloss down on the original finish so that my paint will want to grip a little bit better. This may be an excess step, but I feel like it takes so little time that it's worth the effort to make sure that paint adheres and has a nice life to it. Once that surface is all scuffed up, I give this a good cleaning and now it's time to go ahead and spray some primer. I'm spraying Wiseal Primer and this color is light gray. The primer actually sprays really well. I just added a little bit of water to go ahead and dilute this to a consistency that works great in my, in my sprayer. Spraying primer puts out really nice thin even coats and I needed to do two coats on this. So I let these dry um, and came back and did a second coat as well. These pieces also had a lot of detail in them with all the bamboo and so spraying also got that primer into all those small crevices without giving me any drips or brush marks. The primer is going to help my paint adhere better and it also gives me a nice smooth clean even finish for my paint to go ahead and go over. It's going to help me get better coverage with my paint as well because this primer is so close to the paint color that I'm going to be using. This set that I'm working on is actually three separate pieces. It's two nightstands and a dresser. So I'm going to repeat the same process on everything. The two nightstands and the dresser are all gonna get the same treatment. This is the dresser getting its first coat of primer as well. You'll notice I am spraying with the drawers inside my dresser. The other option is to take them out, but then I would need to tape around the drawer edges. And so this just saves me a little bit of time. This dresser is actually part of a project that I'm working on and I challenged myself to pull a bunch of pieces out of my storage and I'm going to refinish them at the same time. So all of these were in process at one time. It actually saved me a lot of time to spray this much primer all in one day. Here's those nightstands with their coat of primer on. They're all ready to go and now the dresser is ready to go also. You'll notice I left the tops on these unprimed and that's because I have a plan for those. We'll get to that a little bit later, but these bodies are just about ready for their paint. Let's talk a little bit about the finishes I have planned for this set. So I want to keep them nice and clean and modern. This is a very classic set of furniture and I want to stay true to its original style. I'm going to do that in the color that I chose for this set. And this color is from Wiseal Paint. This is their one hour enamel collection. This color is called Safari Jacket. I'm going to start out by straining my paint into my paint sprayer. This way it's nice and smooth when it goes on. I chose this color because it is really the color of bamboo. Um, so I think it's going to be very uh, relevant to the style of this furniture set. One hour enamel sprays really nicely out of the container, so I didn't need to dilute this at all. Um, paint sprayers can be different. Everyone can like a little bit different consistency. You can dilute this up to 10% if needed, but I didn't find that to be necessary at all. The one hour enamel can be brushed or rolled on, but I really like how it sprays. It just sprays so beautifully. And so I chose to go ahead and spray it on this one. The sprayer that I'm using on this is a Husky gun attached to a DeWalt compressor. And I just chose this on the, in this case because it's easily accessible in my workspace. It's usually always connected. Sean likes to use this one for spraying clear coat. I also have my Apollo sprayer and I'll pull that out on occasion as well. Um, but it was just for convenience sake that I chose this sprayer. Really the one hour enamel can be used with most any sprayer. And the only difference might be the consistency or the settings that you need to dial back on your set on your sprayer. I did spray this in with my drawers inside the body as well and that's just for convenience sake but I did open up those doors and get inside of those and around the frame. 
Next up, it's time for those nightstands. So I went over and did the nightstands. All of this did take two coats. So I've got two coats of my primer on and now I'm gonna do two coats of the one hour enamel and safari jacket. I also chose this color because it's a nice neutral that can really fit in with a variety of home decor styles. So this is a bedroom set. I have to figure what are people gonna want in their bedroom? And this is gonna be a set that can be universal and go through many decor styles. You can change up the bedding and everything to go along with it. And this paint color is still gonna go perfectly with just about anything. I always say with spraying that it, you're exchanging the time that you would spend brushing in cleaning and setting up your sprayer. And so really as far as time, it looks like the paint goes on much faster, but then you gotta consider that I have to also get my sprayer set up and then clean it out when I'm done. So I would say it about matches the time that I would spend brushing on a coat. I'm gonna open up the doors on these nightstands and get the backside of those as well. I do have another plan for the inside of these nightstands, but we'll get to that a little bit later. This will take two coats sprayed. You'll see on the first coat, I can still see a little bit of my primer peeking through. It doesn't need to be a perfect coat, but you don't wanna overspray and get it too heavy in spots. I'd rather come back and even it out with my second coat. So I told you I had something planned for the tops of these and let's go ahead and get that started. I'm gonna strip these back to the raw wood. I'm using Green Ease Stripper. This stuff is an, a soybean oil-based stripper that is extremely effective for an eco-friendly stripper. I put this on the top of all three of my pieces. Now I am taking a risk doing this after the bodies are already painted, so I wanna do this extremely carefully. After about 30 minutes, I came back with a metal scraper and I'm able to scrape off those old finishes and expose the really pretty wood that was underneath. With that original wood exposed, I went ahead and gave this a sanding with my Surf Prep sander using an 80 and then a 120 and a 220 grit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a pre-stain conditioner. This is an oil-based pre-stain conditioner from Minwax, and I'm using oil-based because I plan to use an oil-based stain on this as well. I massage this pre-stain conditioner into the wood and then come back and wipe away any excess and it's going to be ready for stain. The stain that I chose is called Jacobian and that's because this is a really nice dark color and it's gonna give me some good contrast with that neutral body color. I like the look of having a dark top and then my neutral body and I'm also gonna be doing some dark hardware on this one. I wipe on that stain and then I'm gonna come back and wipe it in nice even long linear strokes with the grain of my wood. I told you I like some nice dark hardware with this color as well, so let's darken up this hardware. I clean these by soaking them in some white vinegar and water, and now I'm gonna spray them in a black primer. After that black primer, I chose a bronze spray paint, and I'm gonna go over the top of that black. It's gonna give me this nice, deep, rich bronze color. Let's let this hardware dry and finish up some other details. I sprayed these drawers with them inside my body, which means that the edges didn't get fully covered. But you can see I don't have any overspray inside my drawer and that was my goal. I'm just using an artist brush and I'm gonna go ahead and touch up with my one hour enamel along all of the edges of my drawers. Making sure I don't skip these steps gives me the most professional finish possible. So I told you I had something planned for the inside of these nightstands, and that's gonna be with this paper. This is a bamboo print paper. It's actually a vintage wallpaper that I had in my collection, and I think it's perfect for this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover over the bottom of these. I'm gonna decoupage this vintage wallpaper on by applying some wallpaper paste inside of the bottom of my nightstand. I'm also gonna back butter my paper and apply a light coat of this to the backside of my paper. This is not a pre-glue wallpaper and so I apply that wallpaper paste to the inside of my piece the back side of my paper and then I can go ahead and attach them I did pre-cut my paper to the size of the inside of this nightstand so it's already cut once that paste is on I'm going to go ahead and flip my paper over and match these together trying to get as little paste onto me or my nightstand as possible this is a water-based paste so it does clean up really easily I can come back and wipe it away and I want to make sure that I don't leave any on my paint finish and also I don't get any onto the front of my paper the next thing I'm going to do is take this decoupage tool and I'm just going to press out any air bubbles and press all of that excess paste to the outside edges of my paper I like using wallpaper paste when I'm decoupaging with really thick papers, and this is a wallpaper, so it's truly fit for using a wallpaper paste with it. This is also a vinyl paper so that I don't need any coverage over the top of it. I also want to line the inside of my drawers with these, the same paper, but these drawers are in near perfect condition and I don't want to disturb that. So I'm going to use some glue dots and I'm just going to attach the paper using the glue dots, but it will be removable if anybody ever wants to change it out. 
Using glue dots or double-sided tape is a great way to get the look of a line drawer without having it be a permanent fixture to those beautiful, perfect drawer boxes. So this set is complete. I went ahead and added two coats of Wiseau matte varnish to the top of this piece to seal that up. The body does not need any sealer because Wiseau's one hour enamel has a built-in top coat. It dries to a satin finish on its own with no need to add that clear coat over top. Tons of durability. I have no problem doing a scratch test on this paint finish. It's absolutely gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. I think I did justice to the set and gave it another life for another few decades. I hope you agree. You guys can find links for everything I use in the description for this post. You can find more Brush by Brandy on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube, and on my website at brushbybrandy.com. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you'll click that subscribe button for more weekly painting videos here at Brush by Brandy on YouTube.